Hey guys, welcome back here at the Cafe. So the first week of football is in the books. How did it go for you guys? I know I read a lot of the comments out there. A lot of my loyal subscribers that watch all my videos each week found that they had no problem watching streams because every week I add the latest, greatest, hottest stream uh, that is ad free or very limited ads. And I show you how to work around those ads, guys. Those subscribers had no problem. If you just stumbled across one of my videos, Videos change, streams change, guys. They get ads, they get pop-ups. That's how these websites make money. It's free to you, but the website has to maintain its server. Otherwise, it bogs down. One of the big bog down issues that a lot of you had was buffering, and we're gonna talk about that. Let's get that fixed first, guys. Hey guys, and this video is all about speeding up your Amazon Fire Stick and eliminating that buffering. Check it out. All right, guys, just wanted to get the TV screen in front of you so you can get a good look uh, at what you need to do to optimize your Fire Stick to get the best possible image and speed it up so that you won't have those buffering issues. So uh, first thing you wanna do is go to your settings on your Fire Stick, okay? Head over to My Fire TV and click on About, okay? Click on About. When you do that, you're gonna see your storage right down here you want to have at least, at the bare minimum, one gigab gigabyte of available space. Again, at least one gigabyte. When you get less than a gig, then you're probably going to be bogged down on your Fire Stick, you're, and you may have issues with streaming and buffering, and it won't even be the stream that you're connected to, but your Fire Stick itself that's causing the problem. All right, so how do you delete stuff? Go to your home page. Okay, hold down the home button on your remote for three seconds and you're gonna come to this, all right? I get three seconds and you're gonna go to apps, all right? Click on apps on the left-hand side and that is just basically a shortcut that I shared with you. Go through your apps and see which ones you don't want. Don't worry about them if they're in the cloud. See the cloud in the upper right-hand corner? Don't worry about those. But if you don't need one, say you don't want your cat and mouse, then you can just delete that by hitting the three dashes on your remote going down to uninstall. So you may have some uh, apps that you don't need, that you don't want. Like I don't use Philo, so let's delete it. Let's hit the three dashes. See the options in the bottom right hand corner of the screen? If you hit the three dashes, go to uninstall. Now I've just uninstalled it. Let's see how much space I freed up just by doing that. Go ahead and go back and go to settings. All right, now go down to the My Fire TV and go to About and Storage. So now I have, it's taking a second, it's thinking. You can see right there, I've got two gigs out of 5.79. Again, two gigs now. So I just freed up a little bit of space right there by deleting that one app. So do what you need to to delete space to get at least one gigabytes of storage. That's number one. All right, guys, now number two is your internet speed. Is your internet speed fast enough? That's gonna be a huge factor as to whether or not it buffers when you're watching live TV or live sports. Buffering issues can be, can be a, a pain. It frustrates the heck out of you. I know it frustrates me when they buffer, when you're a little bit behind or when it skips or when it freezes during the video um, or you, know, you get the three dots that are going across the screen. I know the frustration, I've been there. I upgraded my internet because of that. Now I'm gonna share an app with you that I use that you can kind of tell if your internet is actually capable of streaming effectively, all right? It's called Speed Test, and it looks just like this. And I'm gonna have it up on the screen right here, guys. If you test it with this app right here, you wanna be at at least 100 millibytes per second. That's your speed minimum to be able to stream well without buffering, if it is your internet, not the internal space on your Fire Stick, but the internet speed that's causing the problem. That's what you want to check. So what is yours right now? Comment down below and let me know what yours is. If it's lower than 100, as you can see what mine is here, it's much higher than what you might be dealing with. So that, therefore, I don't have those buffering issues that you might have. So test it out. Comment, 
excuse me, comment down below. Let me know what you have. Maybe we can work out ways to try to increase that speed. Maybe get an internet boost or maybe you can contact your internet provider and ask about a faster internet. This is if you're going to be streaming TV or movies or, or games frequently. You may want to consider a faster internet. All right, and number three. All right, guys, and number three. Number three is what stream are you choosing? All right, a lot of people found my video from an NFL video that was uh, that utilized stream to watch. That is a great website if you have an ad blocker. If you do not have an ad blocker, it will cause you all kinds of headaches. It didn't used to have ads, but it recently has gotten those ads. That is why I always update my subscribers and those that have notifications turned on will be notified every single week of the latest and greatest streams. Which stream you pick is extremely important when it comes to buffering or non-buffering during your watching experience. So if you try one that I recommended two months ago, you may have issues versus ones that I just posted yesterday. Always watch the latest videos that I share because I always test these sites before every week. Not every site lasts. Some only last a week, some last two weeks, some last an entire season. But I'm gonna bring you the latest and greatest. Which one worked yesterday? Well, I'll tell you. Um, Stream to Watch was not a successful site unless you had an ad blocker. Otherwise, it was 1080p. If you didn't and you just turned it on and expected it to work, then you might have wanted to try a site like sports24.club, which worked for 99.9% .9 of my subscribers that used it. If you watched scorelive.com, it worked for 100% of the people that tried it, but the image was a little bit grainier. So are you, do you, it was your internet fast enough to handle score, score Live or a stream to watch? Did you have an ad blocker to use um, some of the others? It just depends on what it is that you were utilizing to watch sports. Again, make sure you have that notifications turned on, guys, because I'm going to bring you the latest and greatest stream every single week, okay? So which one you pick is paramount for buffering. If you have an arsenal of sites that I've shared with you written down or screenshot on your phone or on your laptop, that um, so you're prepared. You try the first one and ad popped up. Well, now that one's no, no longer good. Try a different one. Go to the next one. Um, make sure you have them all down, guys. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, okay? One stream could be buffering terribly when another side it's working seamlessly. I tried a couple yesterday. In fact, I tried four or five of them, and I found which one was perfect. I didn't have any issues, and that was sports24.club. Next week, it may not work like that. Next week, it could be scorelive.com, or it could be 720p stream, or it could be uh, yourstream.me. It could be any of these sites. It could be different every single week. So that's why it's important to have that notification bell on. So I talked about storage space on your Amazon Fire Stick. I talked about speed of your internet, and I talked about which stream you pick. That really will increase the speed, and it will eliminate the buffering next week next football season or any sport or any item that you're watching on your Amazon Fire Stick. I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. All right, guys, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, maybe it answered some questions. Don't forget to check out my videos. Comment down below. Let me know which stream worked best for you. That way I can share it with the rest of the subscribers, guys. I want to make sure everybody can watch football tonight on Monday Night Football. They can watch it next week without any issues. Um, I know some of you shared some of the streams that you watched, and I appreciate that. It really does help me. It helps them. Some of the streams I've tried before, um, you have to understand not everybody is perfectly tech savvy. Not everybody has ad blockers on their Amazon Fire Sticks. Those are the people that tend to struggle, and so we want to try to help them get over that hump so they don't get those ads, those pop-ups, those VPN pop-ups, those, those really bad... Uh, leave stay here leave stay here things that pop up on the screen you can actually get rid of those completely guys if you just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell because I'm going to show you the latest streams every week thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed the video Bye.